It's your golfing buddy Bobby Lopez here, and here is Mr. Stephen Sheridan, 96 years old. He wins the prize as our oldest student ever. We have one that's 92 that comes out all the time in Richmond. He's always full of <laughs> full of life and still comes out, hits ball, still drives his car. Same thing here, 96 years old. And we get a lot of seniors at Myrtle Beach because it's a retirement community. So we've got a little tip here to try and help you hit the ball a little further because you know the first thing out of his mouth when he walked up is that I'm going to hit the ball I hit it as far as I used to. I said, no kidding. If I was 96, I wouldn't hit it as far as I used to either. <laughs> Probably because I'd be in a coffin. <laughs> I'd take the club back. <laughs> here you go. See, so he can't raise his arms quite as high as he used to. Hmm? He's not going to do something, you know, so to try and tell him, say, hey, raise, raise your arms a little higher. Raise your arms a little higher. Well, that ain't going to happen. See? That ain't going to happen. But there is one thing he can do. And one would be, instead of turning his chest first, see, would be to get his arms going first. As Tiger says, the arms win the race. But let me show you from the frontal view where the speed can still happen for seniors is right here from the elbows down. The faster you can make your forearms go, and I'm going to give you an example here. Here's Ernie Els. And yes, he can lift the club way up above his head. But from here, from here, ba ba boom. Here, ba ba boom. Right there is where you can still pick up speed. Because from here down, this little triangle is still moving. As far as making a bigger body turn and lifting the club higher and pushing off the ground like all the younger players talk about, that ain't happening. So let's watch what he does here from this side. See right here, here's where we can put some more speed on him. See that hip move sideways a little bit? It's not bad though. But right here, see he doesn't turn his hands over like Ernie Els does. And that's what we gave him the punch shot troll to work on. And just hit short punch shots, rotating those forearms over as fast as you possibly can. Once you start hooking the ball real bad, just back off a little. But along with rolling the forearms over, you've got to swing more out towards that second baseman. Here's your left foot, here's your right foot, here's the ball. It's back here, down here, out that way. And I start rotating my forearms over right about there. Even though in the video it shows like it's actually happening. As you look at Ernie Els here, it looks like it's happening after the ball. He's, he's trying to do it right about there. Because the club's moving at a rate of speed. And by the time you start trying to do it and actually do it, it's like hitting the brakes on your car. Hmm. And look at this shot he hit. Watch this from the down line. This is terrific. Here's the ball. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Looks like it's going to be in the heel, but he's going to go across himself a little bit, so that won't happen. Look where that ball is. Look at this. Look at that ball. Look at that ball. Here it is right here. Hopefully you can see it. Look at that. Right down the middle. At 96 years old. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just had to show you this. If you're in Myrtle Beach, come see us. We do an initial lesson for only 19 bucks. You can't beat it. If you're in Richmond, Virginia, come see us. We have a Tannehill special going on right now for 17 bucks. Or you can get out your cell phone and video your swing from the downline view like he has here, from the frontal view like he has here, and just email it to quickservice at quickfixgolf.com and absolutely free. We'll do a complete analysis and send it back to you and probably attach a drill or two you can work on. All right? Quickservice at quickfixgolf.com.